Hello, this week I travel to Sorrero National Park just east of Tucson, Arizona, where you can follow me along as I take photos at sunrise along the Cactus Forest Trail and Javelina Rocks. I recently visited Tucson, Arizona. I used to live back there many years ago, and we still go back occasionally to visit friends and family and things like that. And of course, on any trip back, I always take my cameras so I can get some great photos of the desert. It's one of my favorite places to hang out, hike, photograph, things like that. This particular video, we're looking as we head into Sorrero National Park East, which is located just east of Tucson, right up by the Rincon Mountains. And we headed out before sunrise so we could take a look and get some photos along the Cactus Forest Trail, which is a popular hiking destination that cuts across the park, as well as over at Javelina Rocks, which is an interesting rock formation. And I hit that as the sun started to come up. So in this video, this is just some behind the scenes looks as I work through a couple different locations and work through the different shots at the various locations in the park. I hope you enjoy. Okay, trying to catch the color of the sunrise at Sorrero National Park East. I thought I was going to get a little bit over here with the Sororo and this ridge, but now it looks like it's moving over here. So we've got this interesting cactus over here. We're going to move this direction. Try to set up for a shot here with the Rincon Mountains in the background. So getting a little bit of colors over here. We've got this cactus up here. I'm trying to get in one frame. Just a little bit of focus stacking. Switch over to portrait mode. Bracket a bit so I don't lose the sky. Then one frame at one one six of a second. Okay, so the sky is moving pretty fast this morning. Um, clouds are moving this direction. We keep getting little pops of color. I've got a little cactus framed in here. Just trying to get a little bit of the morning light. Um, it's changing everywhere. There's a cool set of clouds over this way too. Um, and there's some cool over the Catalinas. So sort of jumping around a fair amount. So I'm gonna get a couple more shots here and I'm gonna see maybe what I can do Back this way we'll see how this works out but yeah things are moving fast here in the park this morning and using the histogram of course for exposure got the self timer and i'm going to do a frame lower the exposure so i can get those clouds which are cool okay and the colors in the clouds are still moving fast they've been moving across this ridge all the way through here so now i'm recomposing another shot with this tree using the histogram my exposure down a touch. Then bring the exposure way down to get those clouds in the sky up there. Like that. So then I've got two exposures with that. So let me show you real quick what I'm looking at here. So we've been shooting at this ridge. We started down there where the clouds are coming across with us Sorraro. The clouds are very quickly moving this direction across the ridge. We paused here to get that little cactus in with some of the clouds back there. They're still continuing to move this way. So then that tree back there, but everything is going very quick. This has all happened in a matter of like eight minutes, which doesn't give me a lot of time to set up or anything like that. So you never know what you're gonna get out in the desert. Sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge. Um, so yeah, we're just going with it, see what I can get, see if I can get at least a few shots. Um, and as the sun starts to go, then we'll start to look at some of the more detailed shots around here um, and get some of those. And get another shot of this. Again, shooting with self-timer mode helps reduce camera shake. That was my low exposure one to get the clouds. Now we're going to slow down the shutter speed. Watch those highlights.
So, like I said, clouds move fast over the ridge. It's actually clearing over here, so we're going to lose a lot of our color and a lot of our light that direction. Um, we've got some cool stuff happening in the Catalinas over here to the south. Those are the Catalinas. I would want to be higher up on the ridge to be able to get that photographed well. So I'm probably going to just now try to take advantage of some of these clouds over here with the sun not quite over the ridge yet and try to see if I can find an interesting composition out of here. Um, I am on the Cactus Forest Trail in the Sorrow National Park East. So with a lot of the focus what today was trying to get cacti in pictures with cool colors. So. Okay, I've got an interesting scene over here. I've got Catalina Mountains in the background. I've got this sort of little clear spot with one Sorara over to the right, to the right of the big ridge. The light is catching the top of the mountain, pretty cool. Um, shooting a 24 to 200 at 200, so I'm actually focus stacking that so I can get my foreground and background in focus. So I'm gonna do three focus stacks with the foreground in focus. The cactus I'm zoomed in on, the Sorara I'm zoomed in on pretty far out there and then one on the mountains themselves. So three shots that I'll combine together later. So now I'm gonna repeat that series one more time. First one, underexposed, so the sky's definitely in there. There'll be a total of four shots. Third one, or second one, will be focused on the peak back there. Then using the histogram to properly expose it. We'll click that and we'll change the focus point to the Sorara that I have in the center. Just make sure the exposure settings are staying the same. They are. This will be my mid ground. And then we're going to bring the focus point back to the foreground. Right here there's this little uh, prickly pear cactus that's in the foreground. We're going to bring it into focus check the histogram, everything's good, and take that. So that'll be four shots, one exposed for the sky, make sure I've got, don't lose my highlights, and then the next three, three different focus points so that I can have them focused from the foreground all the way to the background. Okay, we got this little barrel cactus with some flowers on top. A little bit of mountains in the background. I'm just gonna try to get a little shot of that. Morning light is still good. Sky is losing its interest. Just not a lot of clouds um, or color right now, but the light is still good for other things. So just trying to get this little barrel cactus, a little bit of the mountains in the background um, and see what we can work out with that shot. So we're zoomed in, little cactus up here, barrel cactus with the flowers on top, 24 to 200 lens, zoomed to 105. Um, got a little bit of the grasses over here in the lower left, and just a hint of the mountains up there. They're not anywhere near the focal point of this, and we'll see how this goes. Using the histogram for exposure, uh, one 1.6 shutter speed, F16, ISO 125, And I'm just going to shuffle the composition a little bit. And we're stopping here. One last spot. This is uh, Haveline Rocks at Sorrow National Park East. Um, there's some cool rock textures here. Uh, just have a little bit of time before we head back. Um, out of here. So I thought I'd play, see what we get. Sun's still not up over the ridge over this way, so um, you know, still got some decent light. Get a couple shots here and we'll pack up and head home for the morning. Um, see if we're able to make it back out tonight somewhere um, and we'll go from there.
And that's a wrap for this morning. Gonna head out of here, head home. Uh, we'll see what we got and uh, we'll see what's up next on the Arizona trip.